Okay, say hello to YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay, that's my channel, man. Huh? I'm trying to take over. I create your own channel. Go, fuck. Welcome to a new episode, boy up, yes. And first of all, I'd like to apologize because I said I was going to upload the video every week uh, for this road to my pro debut, which I didn't. And the reason why is because we're at that stage now where we're very close to the show day. We're actually 23 days out of the show, and uh, which is about three weeks from I put three weeks out of the show and things are getting more and more intense and that's when I have to be more and more focused and because I don't have anyone to record me especially when I'm at the gym I usually have a tripod I put the camera that I record try to put the right angle to be able to make sure that you guys see the exercises that I'm doing it's been very hard for me to focus on that and like I said we're getting closer to the show I'm more focused and when I'm in the gym, I really don't have time to think of which angle to put the camera on. I'm just, I'm training, I do the exercises that I have to do, and then I'm out of here. What's up? Bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. Yeah, I'll put it in a bit, okay? Is that all right? Bubbles. Kind of bubbles. Okay, I'll put it in a bit. Is that okay? Yeah. So... Yeah, so literally I just don't, I don't, I didn't have that time to think about recording. I just wanted to get the workout done and go home and eat. And um, so I apologize for that, but I'm back on track now. There's a few, few people that's actually sending messages um, to say, yo, you need to put some videos. So you know who you are, guys. I really appreciate this, you know, a few of you out there. And um, that just made me just want to just, you know what, even if I'm tired, let me get behind the camera and let's start recording again. So, right now, and um, like I said, it's 23 days out of the show, I just came back from the gym, I had a shoulder session, and right now, the thing that I'm looking for the most after a workout is this bowl of oats. It's only 60 grams of oat, but man, <laughs> this is nice. So this guy have 60 grams of oat with 20 grams of oats now. This is exactly what I have for breakfast as well. So I have that for breakfast first in the morning, and then I have that after I work out. So this is actually week 20 of the prep. And to think that at the first week of my prep, I was eating about 150 grams of oats. You can see how much it has been reduced. Um, with time so yeah I just want to show you guys and uh, show you guys a bit of an update of how things be going right now and how things are planned for the next few weeks until the show so in terms of my physique I haven't shown much to you guys 
and I, I haven't even uploaded anything on Instagram to show how I'm currently looking like. So nobody really, well, nobody on social media knows how I'm looking like. Only the people that at the gym that sees me when I do my posing, when I practice, my coach, my brother, my missus, obviously, uh, and a few close friends to where I send the picture and they know how I'm currently looking like. But I haven't posted anything, and um, it's just the undercover games that I'm going. Uh, so you know in case you guys didn't know what you know AM fitness undercover games and it's all about you know just minding your own business staying focused on the goal and don't worry about having to share everything every day all the time just keep it undercover until it's time to compete and then you show the result of the hard work so I'm not planning to show you guys anything I know the last videos uh, last few videos are trained wearing the vest so with the vest you guys can see a bit of how the condition is and everything but I'm not going to be topless and show that to you guys yet but I, I promise you guys that I'm working very hard to make sure that the physique that I bring on stage in 23 days is the best physique I ever brought I know right now as I'm talking to you right now I already look better than the last time I competed which was the British finals in 2016 so that's already mission accomplished so I've already beat that package so I know touch wood as long as I don't get injured as I keep things keep going the way they're going now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look worse than I did last time you know? and I'm very excited to step on stage and um, show you guys how, how uh, I'm looking so in terms of my food Things have been reduced, obviously, as we get closer to the show, so the calories have been reduced to be able to get that conditioning, you know, coming in nicely, slowly, you know. And the fact that I've been prepping for 20 weeks now, this, this is the long, longest prep i ever done. And before that, the longest prep I did was 10 weeks. And in average, the other shows were between six and a half weeks to eight weeks that was the average uh, how long it used to take to get ready for an amateur show with the uk benefit but this is a pro show so it takes i have to put more time more effort and more work and it's the 20 weeks and from the first week till now i'm still eating the same thing you know i don't post a lot of uh, of food update on my youtube or instagram which is something that i should actually do but i'm going to share with you guys in the next video but on Snapchat, I'm very active. And if you follow me on Snapchat, I'll show you guys what I eat. It's literally different day, same shit. I've been eating the same thing for the last 20 weeks. The only difference is the quality has been reduced. And the fact that I started in this prep eating clean from day one, it allowed my, it allowed my physique to get used to the food that you need to eat when it's time to get shredded. But also the progress that I was making when I was on my mini off season, was lean gain so i was getting bigger but i was still very lean because of the food that i was eating the the, the difference is that i was having two cheat meals at the beginning of the prep then I, I started i reduced it to one cheat meal and you know and the food been reduced accordingly very slowly so there's no there hasn't been any dramatic change so there hasn't been any dramatic dramatic drop so for example if i'm going to 150 oats grams of oats to 60 grams of oats right now this didn't happen in two weeks you know what I mean? That from day one to week 20, everything's been reduced slowly, slowly. So that very help, like that's very helpful to, you know, to make sure that my physique don't suffer in terms of doing a lot of sacrifices to get the conditioning. You know, you don't want to wait the last minute to get your conditioning, like increasing your cardio, doing zero carbs, and then you're losing the muscle that you work so hard for during the off season so this is something that's not going to happen this like this prep because you know we followed the plan from day one to now everything's been planned properly food's been reduced accordingly not like the food doesn't be reduced in the like in the plan so it wasn't written on the paper saying okay week two i need to reduce that week three i need to reduce this basically every friday I, I, I'll, I'll take a progress picture and from there we decide if the food needs to be reduced or if the food stays the same or what needs to be changed so it's literally changing according to how the physics look and that's the best way to go because you don't want to 
be in a situation where you tell you write on your on your plan that you have to you have to reduce your carbs for example on week 10 but on week 10 you're looking flat because you don't have enough carbs or you don't have enough protein you don't have enough calories and you're still following the plan because you wrote it on the paper change according to how things are, are going all right guys so that's something that we did and that's something that we you know we're really going to see the benefit and the, the result at the end of the prep so like i said i'm going to talk about my food more in the next videos but yeah so my food has been reduced my cardio has increased so i'm doing cardio twice a day so i do cardio in the morning first thing in the morning and then I do cardio after my workout in the gym. So I do cardio five times a week. Um, because I don't have time to go to the gym in the morning to do my cardio, I bought something so I want to share with you guys. Something I believe is going to be helpful for, you know, some of you guys who don't have time to go to the gym in the morning to, to do your cardio. I bought this little machine, this pedal machine. So basically it feels like you're just, you're just pedaling, cycling, if you want to call it like that and it's very small but it's very useful and i was recommended recommended to get it from my, some of my fellow competitors and it's very helpful so i don't have to wake up and go to the gym too early i can just wake up when everybody's asleep and i'm here you know sit on the chair sit on the sofa watching tv whatever and just wear my hoodie cover up and i'm just doing it then and then in the evening i do my stairs master or my treadmill in the gym so that's something that's been very helpful during this prep so feel free to you know get yourself one if you're looking for something small and take too much space in your house and allow you to do a bit of cardio so my cardio has increased compared to how it was a few weeks ago my calories have been reduced uh, mainly mainly my carbs but we're still keeping the full look and uh, like i said that's because of the fact that We've been eating clean from day one and we didn't do any dramatic changes. That's the key. Dramatic. You don't want to do any dramatic changes to, to the plan. So as a result, you know, my condition, the way, I'm, the, the way I am now, you know, the way I am now, I'm very, very happy the way I look in now at three weeks out of the show. Best, it's the best physique, the best look I had from my previous show standing at three weeks out so i'm very happy i just got to keep going the way things are going and um, hopefully you know it will pay off when it's time to to step on stage on the 16th of september in terms of in terms of energy the way i'm feeling right now you know i'm feeling a bit more i'm not going to say my energy is really low but it's getting low i already started to feel it and um, and there are times where I'm very feeling tired and I'm, you know, I'm just laid back. And, but when I'm at the gym, it's funny, when I'm at the gym, I don't feel tired at all. I think it must be the excitement of the fact that I'm going to do a session and then by the end of the session, you know, I've just added some extra pieces to the puzzle to make my pieces look complete. So that moment, that, that hour I spent in the, in the gym training, or hour and 15 minutes, you know, I'm like, I'm not tired at all, I'm just ready to go. Then after that, I'm just like, ah, you know, I'm just feeling a bit, you know, not as energized as I was at the beginning of the prep, but that's normal as we get closer to the show. So that's something that everyone goes through at this stage of the prep. And it's probably the hardest part of a prep because that's when things start testing you really, like testing you mentally because you start to get more tired, your food's getting reduced a little bit, and for some of you guys, some people, some of you cut cheat meals at that time to be able to bring that conditioning until the night before the show. You know, we all, everyone do it differently. But at that stage, you that stage where it's crucial time is, and it's very easy to get to, to feel low and do a mistake. And what I mean by doing a mistake is let yourself be easily distracted by doing something you're not supposed to, for example, having a snack you know you want something sugar in your mouth having a sweet or something like that like you're thinking it's just the sweet but that could be the difference between you placing and not placing so it's really the hardest time you know because you've done everything you had to do from the start of the prep until now and now that's when you know 
you can either make it or break it and um, you really have to be mentally strong control being controlled knowing what you can do knowing what you can't do you know and just stick to the plan that's the key like stick to the plan like i'm blessed i have the right people to support me you know you know uh, my missus support me every day sometimes she sees me the way I, the way i am the way i feel she's like don't worry you're almost there you're almost there or, i'm on the phone with my brother and you know uh, what's up my brother and it's like you're almost there don't give up you know I'm talking to my coach you know talking to close friends you know even people from my gym you know like this is a different story i'm going to talk from my gym because this is literally the best gym i've ever been a member of and i'm not just talking in terms of just the equipment that happens and some of the support and the, the love that i get it's just you know, all those little things helps to keep your head straight and you know keep your eyes on the, on, on, on the goal so you know i'm very blessed with that aspect and you know and that things like that that's what makes me feel like i have to win because it's like i have so much positive support so positive so much positivity around me that even when i feel low i feel like it's like there's hands behind me pushing me up like keeping me up like don't don't feel low keep your chest up keep your chin up you know so i'm very blessed with that aspect so that all those things motivate me to just you know don't do something stupid you know don't if you have to keep going on a straight line don't like, go left or right just keep going straight until until the end so but yeah my energy is a bit low but it's part of the game it's part of the, it's part it's part of the of the game you know i don't want nobody to feel sorry for me like if if you're competing and you feel tired that being closer to the show that's normal but don't expect anyone to feel sorry for you because you put yourself in that situation you decide to compete nobody forced you to compete so you should not expect anyone to feel sorry for you instead just make sure you have positivity positive people around you that support you and support your your goal you know and that will help you you know going through that hard period because as we get close i said it before, already but i said again as we get closer to the show things are getting harder things are getting harder your energy is getting lower your, your, your strength is not as hard as powerful as the beginning of the prep but the key is doesn't matter if your strength is going down make sure you always give 100 percent like there's some exercises that i can still lift the same weight as i did at the beginning of the prep and there's some exercises where i, I don't have the same strength to lift as much but as long as i know that that was my best day i get my best so for example on dumbbell press at the beginning of the prep i could do reps with like 55 or 60 kilos but right now it's like i'll go as high as 42 45 you know but i, I don't i don't beat myself up over it because that's the best i can do and i'm happy with it so i know some people that say as we get closer to, as you get closer to the show you know you have to be careful with the weight go lighter and all that i'm going to talk about that in a different video but there's so many different training methods and we all our physics react to different training methods differently we're all different you know so but for me what works for me is keep lifting as heavy as you can keep doing those high reps with the heavy weight drop down set super set everything to keep the workout intense that's what works and that's what we allow you to keep the muscle full you know while you're getting shredded yeah, say hello to YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay, that's my channel, man. My man trying to take over. I create your own channel. Go back. I'm gonna try to take my channel, man. This is Ellen Fitness. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I apologize for not uploading anything recently, but as we get closer to the show, I promise you guys I'm gonna do my best to record as much as possible. And it's Monday, this coming Monday is bank holiday. I'm planning to have a session with one of my guys, so hopefully I can record that as well. And then I'm doing a, a physio, physiotherapy, my sport massage done, and I'm gonna vlog that as well. I'm having a photo shoot as well, coming with my boy Mark. So that's, there's a lot of things coming um, soon, so I'm gonna record all that until the show day. And yeah, so I'm back. I apologize. I haven't seen to be blurry. What's that? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna finish this 
go out and until the next video stay motivated thank you for watching the video i really appreciate it and feel free to click the like button feel free to subscribe feel free to share and i promise you guys i'll be back with a new video